Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for the Capricorn Sun, Moon, Horizon sign for the month of April. I want to say, oh, May. <laughs> I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful positive energy vibration. Please like, share these videos. Cross watch, cross watch, cross watch. It is very important to cross watch, okay? So, mm, you guys. You Capricorns, okay, we're going to see what is coming in because this um, month of May is going to be the energy of inner strength. It's going to be a fire energy um, and it's going to affect everyone. So um, please remember this. Um, the love readings are going to be coming up after the monthly readings and the love readings are going to be free on YouTube. So there is no on demand. Uh, if you'd like to have a love reading, please connect with me. Um, this set readings we have changed up the way we're doing the readings you guys are going to see my face in the beginning but at the end uh, no more so um, please like and share these videos I want to say to each and every person um, please leave a message how you find this layout of this reading so let's get in the reading and see what's coming up for you Capricorn so we're calling in the angels and guides of the Capricorns to come in let me make sure that this um, is focused properly um, so let's see what is coming up for the Capricorns it's going to be four weeks in the month of May so what do we have for the Capricorns in the first week? We have in the month of May, in the first week, you're dealing with the energy vibration of uh, um, balance, balance, okay? So I hope you guys are seeing this. It's all about balance. It's all about the angels and guides who are coming in and trying to help you to bring balance back in your life. In the second week, we have the energy of the world. So two or two weeks is coming up for you guys. So this is good. The energy of the world is here. It is positive and it's good. Um, the second week is going to be very, very good for you Capricorns. Whatever is happening, the second week is going to be good. Some of you could be having the energies of the Virgos coming in the first week to align you. Then we have the energy of the Empress, another wonderful week. Um, the third week is the energy of the Empress. Second week is a yes. Whatever you decide to do in the second week, it's going to be yes. Go ahead and do that. So it's wonderful. It's all about the hurt energies that is coming up. And it's beautiful because what is um, transpiring and what is aligning is that you're aligning um, yourself out. Then we have the energy of the chariot in the last week. So this is good. This is powerful. This is good. This is going to be a very, very, very good month for you Capricorns. It's going to be an extremely positive month for you Capricorns. It is um, the first, all, um, the second, third, um, and fourth week. It's going to be extremely good. I'm seeing victory and success. You're moving forward. Um, in the third week, your financial abundance is coming in. Second week, an end to a situation because you come in the month trying to um, balance out situations. And uh, let's see what is coming in the first week to going in the second week you have a situation with the lovers so whatever the situation is you're connecting with someone else and you're trying to find balance to deal with a relationship or to deal with a situation with um, someone else that is coming in your life or is in your life so you try to find balance in the first week in the second week it, it comes to an end in the, the second week, going in the third week, you're seeing the truth to a situation. You're taking time off for yourself, reconnecting with yourself. So whatever the situation is and whatever that was transpiring, you're definitely trying to find ways and means how to deal with things. Remember that this reading is going to take another four to five minutes. So um, really download your on demand. The energy of the Empress is here and the Magician. So wonderful, wonderful situation is going to be happening, especially when it comes on to your financial abundancy. If you are deciding to get a car in this month, it's going to be happening for you in the last week. The last week, um, miraculous, something is going to be happening. So if you were having, um, you know, car issues and that sort of a thing, um, in the last week, things are going to be resolved. 
what it is that is ending between you and someone in the second week a cycle is ending between you and a person and it could be a Pisces but it could be that your um, spirit guides are showing you something that you weren't aware of and if you notice the central of your month what is transpiring is that the Angman is there okay the Angman is definitely there so whatever the situation is or was um, you are going to be um, going inwards in this month the energy of the Emperor is here um, this is a positive energy this could be you taking back your powers because um, definitely as you come out of this month you're definitely taking back your powers and you're saying hey um, you know this is who I am and uh, no matter what people do or say this is who I am and this is very very wonderful because the outcomes is that you're seeing the truth of the situation is that you are taking over the energy of the high um, the high princess which you are um, definitely aligning yourself with the right energies it's as if your, your spirituality is just going to be kicking in because uh, this month is going to be a month where you are on your own trying to figure out who are you what are you and what this is all about I'm definitely liking your month because you have a very very strong month a lot of you are going to be dealing with situations at work or dealing with group of people you could be dealing with also the Taurus but it is more of group of people that you're dealing with so some of you definitely were in um, a relationship that you're going to um, bring to an end because um, you're seeing that this relationship doesn't serve you really it doesn't really serve you so um, you're definitely definitely going to bring this relationship to an end so whatever and however this comes up because you're trying to find yourself in the month of May it's as if whatever is transpiring there is a spiritual union because we have a spiritual union you guys are connected to someone who um, is bringing in a spiritual union for you guys you're whatever this union is all about there is definitely that um, it is a connection of uh, someone who is spiritually aligned okay and this person is coming back from a past lifetime in your life so be aware of that the energy of the magician Th these are very beautiful cards because the eye princess is that you're taking back your energy your understanding you're listening to your own intuition over the intuition of other people which is very good and very satisfactory um, in a sense so this is a really really wonderful it's going to be a connection of you connecting with yourself and your spirit guides and listening to your own intuition over the intuition of others let's see what else is coming out and please remember this reading is going to take another 45 minutes so um, use the link below to check out on demand as we go in what we're having we are having a strong foundation whatever the situation is whatever that is happening you are going to be having this wonderful strong foundation that is going to be coming in your life okay so be aware that um, you're going to be bringing back stability some of you could be moving house in the month of May or thinking about moving house or finding a new house in the month of May so be aware of that what else is coming up for the Capricorns definitely plan there is a time of planning that is going to be coming in so some of you um, you could be planning a new start for yourself you could be moving forward and definitely planning a new start for yourself what else is coming up some of you are asked to have patience it's as if here is two energies um, that is coming up that is asking you of patience number 14 um, 5 and 14 is here because um, they're definitely asking you and the angels are watching over you okay the angels are definitely watching over you whatever is transpiring you guys have a real strong foundation there is nothing to worry about um, you have a strong foundation so let no one take you off your game 
let's see what animal spirit guides are coming in for you capricorns and it's good to check out the on demand because the on demand is going to be helping you in the on demand there are more information that is telling you what is to inspire what is happening how things are going to be looking the spirit guides for the capricorn that is coming out for the month of may is that you have the energy of the bobcat the bobcat and this is good this is good so call in the bobcat to be your spirit guides for the whole month of may so let's call upon the bobcat to protect you and be around you and surround you and um, protect you from all lower energies so the bobcat is going to be coming in and protecting the Capricorns so call upon the energies of the bobcat because that is what is going to be the spirit the animal spirit that, that is going to be here for you guys so as we go on let's see what is transpiring Scent Illyrian comes up and this is good because the affirmation is that I open myself um, to wisdom and um, gratitude from Scent Illyrian. Scent Illyrian is one of those wonderful Ascendance Masters that is going to be coming in for you guys and this is going to be very wonderful. Call upon Scent Illyrian because he comes in to protect um, us as we walk along our journeys and this is going to be so positive and so powerful it's going to be aligned in us with so many wonderful positive energies and this is going to be good let's see what is coming in from the angels of um, the light workers and it says hold your center hold your center so they basically wants you to connect uh, your body mind and soul and hold your center no matter what is happening whatever is happening around you hold your center know who you are and accept um the situations and know who you are let no one pull you off your game okay there will be these people around you that wants to pull you off your game but let stand up for yourself in this month of um, May really it's a, not a bad reading um, I should say it is um, one of the best readings so far um, you know um, there I have done so much um, of these reading and now I'm by the Capricorn and it's really not a bad reading I should say because um, when you're looking at the images and seeing what is transpiring, it is good because you actually take me back to the brain. What is going to be transpiring and happening is that you decided no more of the BS. You're cutting away. And ladies and gentlemen, I know you couldn't hear my voice. It's because I am trying to find my glasses wherever I have placed it. So, back. So let's look and see. Hold your center is the energies that you guys receive. And we are going to see what is the affirmation to hold your center. Have you been rushing out to meet others? Try to blend in accordingly to their needs and their expense of your own um, time and inner peace. Now you are strengthened, okay? So the affirmation is going to be, I am empowered by divine love to hold my center, to be in my truth, to stay strong, 
to be in my integrity and to act with courage the only energy I invite and allow to remain in my feel is that which supports me unconditionally with genuine love I love my boundaries they are the way that I lovingly choose which energies to invite into my life and which energies I choose to pass right by I do not judge but I do choose wisely I love myself and my life for it now I hold myself with powerful and caring commitment may all beings know their true inner strength through my own free will and unconditional love so be it so this is a wonderful positive powerful energies that is coming in and however way you're going to be using this use it in a very positive way and I want to say to each and every person check out the on demand you have the Bobcat call upon the Bobcat he says life is a mystery so obviously some wonderful energies are going to be coming out centillion is of Saturn and step down is energy through the temple of truth over create he is a negotiating the hurt on the council of Saturn and he helped us to remind us to connect to our spiritual journey as masters of the orange ray so so Saint Lillian is the master of the orange ray he will give you technology science truth and knowledge he invites you to open up your mind so that you can drop seeds for new ideas into your consciousness he assists you through who are ready to become higher channels and uh, clairvoyance your guidance is to sit quietly and ask centillion to help you to be all that you can wonderful energies namaste until next time